Kurt. I think Smith and Culp represents two polar extremes coming together. On one end, Smith is very elegant and sophisticated and subtle. And on the other end, Cult is kind of the subversive, down and dirty, kind of grimy expression. Smith and Cult coming together creates this harmony of two polar extremes. So it's kind of a yin and yang. I think what's interesting about Smith and Cult is that that it represents a full spectrum of our feelings and emotions and experiences in life and how beauty is a function of that. The ideology of the brand is very personal and very honest and comes from a really raw, kind of uninhibited place. It's just kind of all out there and, and it, at the same time that it has all that, it's beautiful. And fire in the hole. The nail polish colors are coordinated with diary entries, so they represent different experiences she's had. Dirty Baby, Psycho Candy, Cut the Mullet, Check the Rhyme, Kundalini Hustle, and Honey Hush. The colors are full spectrum as well and there are so many nuances. You know, you change it a tiny bit and it changes the mood and totally changes the vibe and it becomes a different statement. The whole point of Smith & Cult is that it's a diary where you can relate to these raw stories that are completely uninhibited. I think the packaging is really unique and the packaging is very much consistent with the ideology of the brand, which is the juxtapositioning of two polar extremes. The packaging represents that, the formulas represent that. There's a parallel between the formulas and the packaging and the ideology of the brand. I think what's beautiful is you have this perfect gold, really seamless, elegant package that's been dented and hammered and clearly has fallen over and has taken some dings. And I think that's really representative of all of our experiences in life and all of our beauty moments.